long before Hideo Kojima was writing movie reviews for Rolling Stone. <laughs> long before he was the soulmate of Jeff Keighley. Okay. okay. He made video games. That's right. I forgot about that. One of them was called Metal Gear Solid. I'm Andrew Reiner. This is Kyle Hilliard. Hello. Joe Juba and Leo Vader in the control room. Hello, how are you? Hi. We're going to take you on a journey to one of Kojima's games. We well, hope you enjoy it. Kind of. Actually, this is Silicon Knights did this version. But he oversaw the production of it because it was his baby. <laughs> he nurtured it. Yeah. So we're dealing with basically one of my favorite games of all time. Well, a version of one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, are you one of those uh, elitist, original uh, yeah, well, OG gamer guys? Y- yes and no. There's actually, I think that there's a lot here in Twin Snakes. For people who don't know, Twin Snakes is the GameCube remake of the original Metal Gear Solid. That's right. Uh, uh, for that Silicon Knights, in cooperation with Hideo Kojima, uh, developed. And it changes a lot of things, and some of those things I really like, and some of those things I think are not. Like, there's a lot of give and take in terms mm-hmm. of in, in, in terms of how it compares. So basically, the original game was too shitty to bring forward to modern times, <laughs> well, and it no. needed to be remade. Uh, so here's an interesting little thing. So see how it says. Uh, like Jennifer Hale as Naomi Hunter, you'd recognize her as a female Shepard in the Mass Effect series, and every other female and, character, yeah, I mean, pretty much, Samus, and everything. She's Samus, also. Yeah. Um, but in the original, like PlayStation version of this, I forget all of the specifics about it, but there's basically some sort of like union issue that the voice actors who were like, it's like you, they basically couldn't give their real name. So Jennifer Hale is being like actually credited in this one, but in the original one, she had to use a pseudonym, and like uh, pretty much all of the voice actors except David Hayter. They also they re-recorded all the dialogue for Twin Snakes too. Yeah, they got pretty much all of the original cast back. Not all of them, but no, no, close they, to all I, of them. I think it was all of them actually. Yeah. I, they changed some of the accents, but I think it was the same actors. Right, and that's actually a thing that I that some people don't like. I really like about Twin Snakes is the fact that like. They took they took away the sort of like Mei Ling had a I mean very stereotypical like Chinese yeah you know Confucius say kind of <laughs> accent. Hey Leo um, Vader, I said one thing and Joe said another. Where I said it, they got almost all of them, and then Joe said they got all of them. Can you look that up and see who oh, you're here gonna, is the big dummy? You're gonna bring that. You're gonna bring it to that. You're gonna like go yeah. to the internet. I, right. I mean, he he did throw down. He slapped me with the glove. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got all of them back. I'll say that. And then there's even a plus one. Wow. They got all of them back, and they added a voice actor. It, it used to be that the same voice actor voiced um, the arms tech president and decoy octopus and uh, the ninja. Greg Eagles did oh. them both, but then they got someone new to do the cyborg ninja in this version. Oh, okay. Why would you put but. lasers in your underwater cave? <laughs> to, no, just put a wall. No, to, to sense if someone's coming. Yeah, right? but why do you need your underwater cave? Because they know people are going to try to infiltrate in scuba gear. Put a wall down, metal wall. So there's <laughs> a net. A net. One of the things that people uh, maybe don't remember about Metal Gear Solid is that like, like they remember that they're infiltrating Shadow Moses, but like. Yeah. There's a ton of stuff about why you're there that they just bury in this in these like briefing files that we're not going through and like you know, like this intro and stuff like yeah when the game starts you're in this I mean we'll we'll, see, yeah. we'll get there yeah I mean but I, it's like it, they they assume that you've read before you've started they assume that you've spent a good like hour going through like here's what the game is and why you're playing and it's I just kind of funny I very much beat the game I think maybe I'd even beaten it twice <laughs> before I noticed that stuff was there that you yeah. could see the interviews with Snake before when they went and got him out of his retirement in Alaska and yeah. all that stuff yeah so here he comes is it. The hater man himself. Yeah. The uh, the, the only of... snake, right, guys? No. Come no. on. Oh, you mean like come voice actor wise? Yeah, come yeah, on. He's my favorite. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean Kiefer Sutherland was, was great, but I, it's, it's hard to beat the. He, was, you know, he played Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's a great. Like, to a T. Yeah. It looks like all of the voice cast returned except for the voice actor for Gray Fox. Uh, well, no. Uh, See? Hey, what did I just say? You look so silly. Hey, quit applauding yourself, idiot. He's. <laughs> 
<laughs> the voice actor for Gray Fox is still in the game. He's but not just, as Gray Fox. No, he's just doing one of the characters, not the two. That's what I said. They got an extra one in there to replace a different character. There you go. They, they got did not get him to do great. He could not hit those notes anymore. <laughs> they got all of the voice actors back. Look, I'm with Joe on this one. See? Don't look at me, Reiner. <laughs> Leo will edit all that out <laughs> to make me look good. Uh, the other thing, uh, the other big change, and correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, Mr. Joe Metal Gear Solid Juba, we call you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, is they had a, a like a notable Japanese choreographer director come in and redo some of the cutscenes, so they're way more action oriented. Yeah, so that's one of the things that this game gets grief for, and I I'm on board with what with the grief for that. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> there's a scene we won't get to it so I'll spoil it but there's a scene where he like backflips off a rocket to yeah. like destroy wow. a helicopter and it just kind of I always liked Snake because he was kind of grounded just like a dude who is in a, you know a well trained dude in a rough situation who barely gets out of all these scrapes but here he starts doing like backflips and acrobatics you and, can tell you know. that this game that those action scenes sort of came out around the time that things like the Matrix and Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon were were popular There's, it's a lot of sort of improbable wire foo style yeah, yeah. Um, action stuff that and that is the most infamous moment I think too where he yes. yeah kind of backflips off a missile and sends it careening back he says take uh, that you guys have never done that <laughs> no <laughs> i mean not this week <laughs> uh, i mean if you're riding a rocket how do you get off it <laughs> i don't think he like was a nerd riding, i think it was like being yeah, shot at off him the side. i think he was being shot at him and he sort of like backflipped and kicked it and like ricocheted it back or he wasn't off so it's it. defensive he wasn't like surf <laughs> he wasn't like surfing the rocket <laughs> surfing the rocket <laughs> oh no but colonel i gotta surf this rocket <laughs> <laughs> but then the other thing about that though is like the, on, on the flip side is as silly as those kind of scene those scenes seem sometimes is like we are dealing with a series that is like has built into its lore like stealth camouflage and psychic powers and yeah. all that. I mean it's like it's a not, monkey that drinks coke yeah oh god if you're getting talking about other interests. I guess yeah. that's the thing like I felt like it was absurd but snake was always kind of like first the person. one who wasn't absurd who was kind of like the good perspective of the player that was like Man, there's a vampire here for the first time ever well, you had first person. Hey, look at that rat. In two. Yeah, this was after yeah, Metal so Gear Solid 2. Metal right? Gear Solid 1 only had first person under objects, correct? Right. And they added, so Joe can go to first person at any point now. Okay. You can shoot guns from FPS view. You can stand in the corner oh. and look out from FPS view. Oh, that's cool. I, we're wow. seeing the perspective. Okay, okay got to get this thing. Here's, an, here's another big addition uh, to this version of the game is... Uh, Masturbation. Yep. <laughs> Wanking it in the closet. Um, whoops. Is the addition... Whoa. Oh, the, oh, geez. Oh, shoot. I didn't, I didn't equip my gun. Get it. This is going to be a disaster. All right. No, you'll be fine. There it is. Look. There's the laser. What? No. Go down. That looks like a joy to aim. That's just how it was in ah. two and three. Ah. Get out of here. Go, they go, go. Grenades? Okay, so maybe I need to work on my Metal Gear Solid skills yeah, a little like, more. We're throwing you into the fire. It's going to be fine. Just hide a little bit. Get out of there. Great. Yeah, get in the box. <laughs> okay. Atta I'm boy. coming back home. <laughs> I want to get back in the missile. <laughs> so, yeah. But, I mean, they, after the success of Metal Gear Solid 2, they basically revisited this first game with the, with the same technology. Um, and then added something that was missing from that first game, which is this uh, the, the tranquilizer gun. Mm -hmm. oh. And first person aiming, which this is, again, I think a complaint that some people have about this game is like it is not it was designed for the sort of like top down shooting and evasion stuff. So it's a little bit easier when oh dang it. Um, <laughs> like this, this is what you're doing now. Like was you can't do this in the PlayStation one version of the game. You exactly. can't knock out a guy from a distance, you know? Correct. Exactly. So it was built a lot more on just like what you could see on the screen and what you could, like how you could maneuver based on the radar that you're given. Yeah. Oh, can you shoot from, uh, here? improved enemy AI. They added that to this one to accommodate the new range that you have. They say that it doesn't feel okay, like it's that much better. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying like, it doesn't. It's it's not light years ahead. Like the I mean the enemies will still sit there and generally like they still have paths. You know. Yeah, they're not uh, geniuses. It's not genius AI. It's just slightly better. Two more points on that IQ. 
Yeah. yeah. That I, that seems like a fair a fair way to look at it. I think my big mind blown moment of Met the original Metal Gear Solid was walking through that water, and then finding my footprints from the water left behind. I was like, oh my god, what am I in for here? <laughs> nice. Oh, but he got his friend. Careful. Wait, can oh, I no. stick him up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, we're not gonna wait and find out. All right. Ta-da! We I'm did the make best. it through. I didn't know. Flawless <laughs> run. I didn't know if we'd make it through that first area. <laughs> It's always tough when you get thrown back into Metal Gear Solid. Uh, other things they added. There is Nintendo elements in here. There's oh, um, yeah. Yoshi and Mario bobbleheads that you mm -hmm. can shoot, mm -hmm. and it says one up when you hit them. Yeah, I remember that. Donkey uh, Kong is the last boss now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all the way up on the tower. Liquid turns into Donkey Kong. <laughs> I actually lost a bet with Jeff Cork recently on that note. He was playing Miitopia, and like on the on the embargo sheet that Nintendo sent out there, like you cannot reveal who the final boss is of this game. Yeah. And but it, the sheet didn't say who it is. And it's like, oh, I'm I'm sure it's Donkey Kong. Yeah. And the, Jeff was like, what? What would make you say that? It's like I don't know. They did it with Punch Out. I I bet you five dollars. Final boss is Donkey Kong. So we bet on it. Yeah. Final boss is not Donkey Kong. I think you know what I five dollars. <laughs> yeah. I that's think easy in, money. I think in Cork's game, I think I was actually the like my me of Kyle. I yeah. think was the end boss of the game. Yeah, I think you were. <laughs> is that the case for everyone? Yeah, I'm the end boss of everyone's <laughs> me token, <laughs> whether you cool. downloaded my me or not. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> this game looks pretty sharp. Yeah, it looks good. I so, like that title card. Joe, if you had to order the Metal Gear games, oh boy, best to worst. Yeah. Just the core ones. Okay. Uh, How do you do it? Boy, that's tricky. I think I think the best one is always going to be Metal Gear Solid 3. That's uh, that's my pick, too. That I th We've for, come together on something, finally. <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of reasons, but I think one of them is, like, like it's, I think it's the easiest to enjoy. Like, it's the least mired down in, in the Metal Gear Solid sort of... You, you don't have to make any apologies for that game. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's got weird, you kind of do. It's got a guy who's powered by bees. And, I mean, oh, yeah, like, the pain. Yeah, it's got weird stuff in it. But it, I mean, at the same time, it's the least mired down yes. and the least dependent on you knowing a bunch of stuff about Metal Gear. Um, even this game, which was a jumping on point for a lot of people, makes tons of references to the previous two games that like, like nobody played. Nobody, yeah. yeah. Not, I mean, we didn't even get the real Metal Gear 2 here in the States. Until, you know, I think it was like three subsistence had it on the disc, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And Metal Gear 3, the final act is just the last hour and a half of, of, of that game. It's just amazing. So good. So good. And the boss. Cinematic. The boss as a pieces. character is just one of my, is just one of the best in, in yep. gaming. So it's like, that one's always going to be number one for me. I think the next one's tricky for me. I know it's either, man, five. I really like five. The Phantom Pain, huh? Yeah, except, I, and this is, I know I'm diverged from a lot of fandom on this. But I really like four, also. Oh, yeah, four's yeah. low on my totem. That's too many eggs in that one for me. Yeah, and and that's like what's weird is for some of the same reasons that I love MGS three for not requiring you to know all the lore. I really like MGS four for the way that it leans super heavy on every little bit of of, of lore that's come out. But like, you know, one of the reasons I I kind of struggle with four is that it was a time and place for me. I was like mm -hmm. full time job, full time student, trying to play four. There were times when I would log, I was like, all right, I've got an hour to play this video game I'm really excited for. Mm -hmm. I would watch a cutscene, and then I'd like look at my watch and be like, well, time to go to work. And that, like, if I were to replay it now, I think I would have more appreciation for it. But at the time, I struggled with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that, I mean, that's, there are, I understand all of the criticisms, criticisms of that game, and I think they're all fair, but... Um, Oh, we so, can save now. so she speaks without her without her accent now. They took away a uh, different voice actress, turns out. Mm. <laughs> uh, keep keep trying. Stuff up. <laughs> Naomi Naomi Hunter used to speak with a British accent and they took they took that away too. Huh. And if I'm remembering correctly, so in later games, in like MGS four, they flash back to things that were going on in this game. And they actually use the audio recordings from this version of the game. Oh, Twin Snakes? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that makes sense, yeah. Because, like, like Mei Ling and Naomi's accent, like, they don't speak with their accents in MGS4 either. Mm. You know, so it's like, this, this is sort of the canon recording of 
of the audio. Hmm. So, Jill, you kind of talked through your favorite games there, kind of giving us your thinking process there. Yeah, Can yeah. you rattle them off? Is it three, five, four, Man, one, two, probably out. two, one? Can I acid. Can, can I give any uh can are, can there be any ties? Sure. Man, uh, even even that's really hard. I guess but that, you do need to make snake move. <laughs> well, no, no, no. no. She's oh, okay, she's not going to doing tutorials, yeah. I think I think it's 3 5 Let's do a tie between solid and 4. Wow. And then MGS2 and then Metal Gear 2 and then Metal Gear. Peace Walker somewhere in there. Oh, did I forget Peace Walker? I think so. Shoot. Wait, no. Check the tape. Peace Walker's in that. Give us a replay. No, Peace Walker counts. Um, yeah, that's, dude, that's, that's the sequel to Metal Gear Solid 3. Pretty much. Peace Walker is probably in there. Uh, man, that's pretty high. Like, it's probably... That's where they started the, the Fulton system. Yeah. Well, actually, that's not true, but that's where they... It was, the like, the best... Like, sure. Portable Ops' version of it was not great. Um, right. Wait, I, no, I'm, I'm misspeaking because you. No, no, in Portable Ops. was not in Portable Ops. No, because you had to drag people back That's to the, to the right. love truck. Yes. <laughs> the yeah. love yeah. truck. It's ridiculous. And I actually enjoyed Portable Ops, but at this point, just, I mean, despite my defense of that, it's clear that that game is just not really considered part of the canon of this series yeah. anymore. So, like. Peace Walker really blew it out of the water. That's fine. So, uh, yeah, I think Peace Walker is probably above my tie. Or maybe it's maybe it shares the same tie as MGS one, MGS four, three way tie. With okay. Well, because Peace Walker actually is super awesome in a lot of ways, but you, you don't have to tell it to me. I know I love Peace one of Walker. one of the things. One of the things it doesn't have that I always love and associate with the series is boss fights. How are those going to help? Yeah, yeah. Like, yep, yep, yep. It's just not like you're yeah. you're fighting tanks and helicopters and robots yeah and no just, vampires just not that not that element of like they sang to you though confrontation <laughs> they did sing to you i do like the singing robots that was the first metal gear i really really played and liked was so i didn't have the context of the other bosses and to me they're very cool but i can see why people would be disappointed yeah the high standard the rest of the series sets what about you kyle my order mm -hmm. you guys ready for some craziness yeah let's hear it metal gear solid two is my favorite okay uh then probably one then three then peace walker five what four. are you talking about yeah i'm talking about it's a series called metal gear solid oh okay i'm <laughs> sorry yeah thank you Five so close to the end. It's very surprising. Yeah, I I, I like five. Five's cool. I, but two two is my favorite. Man, just that end. The whole the way that game goes off the rails at the end. Just like I, I just couldn't handle it. It was just insane. I couldn't believe where that game was going in the in the last like hour or two. Uh, Leo Vader, how about you? A camera. Uh, what? Whoa! Uh oh, oh did get into the series. No, no, pretty no. late. Get up! Get up! Get, get out of the there. truck! Get in the truck! Uh, well, maybe not get in the truck. Oh, you're so dead. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I just need to get. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, Leo, you, I you wasn't paying attention. Leo Hold told on. me earlier he started. Snake. With... Oh, sorry. Snake. Better here. Snake. Okay. There we Classic. go. Classic. Leo. Cannon recording. Leo. Leo! <laughs> Finish the question. He was telling me he started I, with portable ops. I actually. played portable ops. I don't think I came close to finishing it, but hey, I liked it. Play some time. Big thing people don't think about that often when they're doing lists or mentioning a list. You got to add why you put stuff at the top, right? So Leo Vader, it was a big thing for him. It was his yeah. introduction. That's true. Yeah, so, that's so, fine. It's a weird one to be introduced by. It's, yeah. It's atypical. Let's hear the list, Leo. Uh, well, it was it would be five and then Peace Walker and then Portable Ops and then three. And then I didn't play the other ones. <gasps> My God, that's fine. This two is uh, the first time he's seen You this. go play two in the HD collection. It's pretty cool. What? Oh, dang it. I'm going to go. I've tried and tried. I never even beat three. Leo. <laughs> I'm going to go three, two. Okay. So far, so good. Five. Really? Twin snakes. Uh, yeah, I guess we didn't really consider twin snakes. In Four. That regard. Who's there? And oh, then God. Peace Walker. Surveillance camera. <laughs> Wait, why didn't that guy stay down? You guys have no comments for my list. You just don't Sorry, care. I'm. Trying, well, you did it. You got it right. Trying to get out. You of got here. it. Correct. There's nothing to say. I, the I think list. it's interesting that you do have uh, twin snakes on here. It didn't really even occur to me to like include it. I like twin snakes a lot. Like I freaking loved playing this game when it came out. I liked how it kind of mixed up the psychomantis fight in a little bit, and 
It is. I bet if we were to ask Kojima, I bet he would say this is the best version of Metal Gear Solid 1. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I'm sure he considers it the apex of the uh, of the versions of the games. Yeah, I mean, the first one was... The first one was totally proof of concept, right? Like, yeah. they, they nailed it, like, in terms of vision, I would say. Just the tech didn't back them up necessarily. Did I get turned around again? This screen seems really dark. It's very me. dark. Oh, um, it's look the, the spotlight. Yes, follow the rats. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Everyone who's like, watching, it probably looks crystal clear to them, but on our screen, it's a little. It's going to lead to the turtle's lair. It's been a long time. What are you doing? There's the Metal Gear Solid movie is on the way. Like it seems to actually be entering production. We're wondering how this character is going to be handled. Mil uh, Hansen is constantly like debating how will they handle this character <laughs> in the film. Miller? Yeah. Uh, Not to spoil anything about him, but it's it's super interesting that like this is one of those characters that was just like in he was he in the series like not in the chronology but just like in the in the order that the games came out master miller was in metal gear 2 and he was just sort of like giving you advice or like telling you about various creatures and stuff that was like survival tactics and things like that if i remember correctly mm -hmm. and then he's in this game too and it's like oh this guy's back but then you like play metal gears like uh peace walker and mgs5 and you find out like Miller just becomes this major character yeah. at that point, which is kind of kind of funny, especially given what you know about him from from this game. Yeah. Oh boy. There's a really great line in. I mean, we can we spoil Metal Gear Solid or do we I not? Think we can. Do? Yeah. At, at this point, it's fair game. Just how about maybe just call out if you're going to. Okay. You know, just in case somebody out there they can skip ahead a little bit. There is. There is. Spoiling it. Yeah. There is a line. There is a minor. This is a minor spoiler for MGS5, and that is that there's basically a part and this game, I guess, where what? Why am I You'll dying? Be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, there's basically a part where Ocelot and Miller say like, "Well, either you're gonna kill me or I'm gonna kill you," and the implication, like, that's pointing to a part in this game where basically you assume like, "Oh." Ocelot ended up killing him. Okay. <laughs> You're going uh, the wrong way, well, man. That's, yeah, I gotta keep following the rats. I, I, I just got turned you around. You were Leave looking at Kyle. Well, you gotta steer clear of those rats. They're ruining your perfect stealth <laughs> Also, run. don't look at Kyle. I know, I know it's a fun thing to do, but uh, I can't stop doing it. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. Do you? I remember, <laughs> remember how you could inch Whoops. along the catwalk to be quiet? That was cool. So I keep going to like old Metal Gear, or like more recent Metal Gear habits, which is like the crouch walk, and you don't have oh, crouch walk. Oh, that's right, yeah. So do you guys think Death Stranding is going to be anything like Metal Gear? What? Yeah, I think they'll play a little like 5. Nothing, it's fine. Dang it. Maybe not so stealth uh, as Metal Gear, but I think it'll have like the same... I, I think it will play a little like Metal Gear Solid 5 in terms of the action, the mechanical controls of it. And for those of you that don't know, Death Stranding is Kojima's new game. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a new company, and um, yeah, it looks it's coming exclusively to PlayStation 4, mm -hmm. at least for the time being that we know of. Um, we know a lot about it. Seems to make a lot of sense. I think we can all <laughs> tell where that story is going to go and how it's going to end. It has Norman Reedus it, and uh, Guillermo del Toro in it. Yeah, yeah it's a buddy comedy game. <laughs> It's kind of like Rush Hour. It's like his take on Rush Hour, I think. <laughs> so Norman Reedus is one character, and then the other is Jeff Keighley, which they haven't announced yet. But <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. confirm Speaking that spoilers. from the yeah, pictures yeah. I've seen on Twitter. Mm -hmm. What's the other guy's name? The that the actor? Do you guys know? Do I have to look it up? The the guy oh, from Oh Mads Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, that's the other guy. I think him and Keighley and Mads are like there's a love triangle going on there. They all seem to be really into each other. Mm -hmm. All right, shoot it. Oh, is this? Are we already getting into the the hallway? You need the, some health, man. Well, I think I blew it in that I only picked <laughs> up I only picked up the Trank gun, but I should have picked uh, up the yeah. SOCOM out in the helicopter. Point, Why are you so. dying over time? Are you bleeding out? Yeah, yeah. Bleeding yeah. Out. You need to do some Metal Gear Solid Three. Yeah. Healing. Uh, I'm just oh there. man, that's great. Out of a bad spot too. Well, what happens yeah, around? You don't want blood there, man. Hold on. There we go. Now we're back. Okay. Good job. Good healing. Oof, look at that. Just bleed out a little bit. You'll get better. <laughs> Just, ignore Just ignore your cell phone. So my daughter and I were at Target the other day, and I got her a hot cocoa from the Starbucks. Mm -hmm. We're in the toy aisle, and she dropped it. 
Oh, okay. and I had a moment as a father. At first, I was like, let's get out of here, kid. Let's just <laughs> leave it. But then I was like, wait, what kind of lesson am I teaching her? I don't want to clean this up because it's a huge mess. But if I leave it, I'm teaching her that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So we ended up leaving. No, uh, <laughs> we ended up going and cleaning it. Oh, see, that's that's when I find an employee and you're just like, hey, my daughter spilled a bunch of hot chocolate in, in whatever aisle. And that's what Snake should have been like. He should be telling this guy right now, like, hey, I was <laughs> bleeding out of a bad spot on my body and it's over in the corner in the hallway. I've got my daughter with me and I want to set a good example. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, good job not hitting the rim there. That was oh, impressive. Yeah, cold. That was changed for the remake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought your story was going to end in like a parable about Snake uh, busting open a ketchup packet in the prison to escape. That would happen in this game, right? Or did I make mm -hmm. that up? Nope, okay. that's in this one. Okay, That's one of the ways you can do it. Is, uh, is Meryl right. in there? No, oh, this so. isn't the Meryl one. Oh, okay. There's, I remember, I don't know, I assume they still put it in this game. I don't remember for sure. There's something you could do where it's like, if you watched, like, spied on Meryl a certain number of times, she'd be in her underwear on, like, the 10th one or something like that. No, I don't think, because I think that's, like, part of his vision. So I don't think he would want to get rid of that for the remake. You oh, know? okay. That's yeah. an important part yeah. of the game. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this, okay. this should be Meryl. I think it's pronounced Meryl. Stop that. Look, we all have our David Hader impressions in our back pockets. I'm just let's take turns up. doing them. <laughs> okay, your turn. Well, I've already done mine a bunch. Oh, you can actually read her tattoo on her arm now. David Hader impression, not him. Because <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it totally illegible the tattoo on her arm on PlayStation. Now it's like a nice. You can looks like a sticker almost. Oh yeah, it's the old school Foxhound logo, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think it's a GameCube logo. Probably. Well, I mean, she looked just like Cookie Monster. And people didn't know <laughs> if it was a Muppet or a woman. And now we know it's it's a woman. The PlayStation graphics are really way worse than you remember. <laughs> <laughs> they looked photorealistic, but they all looked like Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> was the weird part. Yeah. It was photorealistic of Muppets. Yeah, Is this canon sure. with Kermit? Uh Hey, K C. who owns uh, this version of the game? Like, if we were to see this come to, like, like, Virtual Console or Switch or something. Oh, so I think it was published. I think it was officially published by Nintendo, wasn't okay. it? Okay, and then developed by Silicon Knights. I mean, that sounds right. In, like, in cooperation yeah, with Konami or something yeah. like that? Yeah. It would just be nice to have this, this version of Metal Gear Solid 1 on, like, PS4 or something like that, you know? Like, yeah. But I guess if Nintendo I th has it, that's... I, I think this is too tied up in Nintendo's... Well, but at the same time, like, the original Mass Effect was very much a Microsoft game, and now it's yeah. not, you know? So, like... In that case... Leo, can you look that up? Who published? I mean, I know I say... Who published? Just Google that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, who just who published? We'll take it. Face value, whatever you find. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, would, this would be cool on Switch. Everything would be cool on Switch. So <laughs> Who published? The first result is Mein Kampf, Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the answer? Oh, huh. I'm curious now. Now that Nintendo. I know the <laughs> <laughs> no. Playing cards and Mein Kampf is how they started their company. <laughs> it just says when it was published, which is 1925. You could check out Mein Kampf in stores now. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think we're all good. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, we're all putting our money on Nintendo publishing this, right? I don't, uh, I'm going to say Konami. Konami. Konami? Maybe Konami. Maybe it's a Konami slash Nintendo. It's it just says Konami. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you know what? That would make sense because otherwise, like, I don't know that Konami would have been able to use, like, in later Metal Gear games to be able to use the, like, uh, sound files and stuff. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's a good point. So... Well, anyway, put it on something modern so we can play this HD. It'd be yeah. nice. I mean... Well, this does look pretty good, though, still. Konami's still making Metal Gear games. Yeah. Survive, it's mm -hmm. called, right? It's coming yeah. to PS4, Xbox One at and some point. PC. Pachinko, Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko Machines. Yeah, that looks real, like... That's such a tease. <laughs> because, like, it has these awesome, like, Fox Engine graphics rendering that, like, final scenario with, Metal Gear like, Snake the boss, and the boss. Yeah. 
and it just makes you want to play it so bad. And then the tra- but it's you, just a dumb pachinko game. By the way, if you haven't seen this trailer for the pachinko game, it starts with that cutscene, and you're like, what is this, a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake? And then the camera pans out, and you see yeah. that's a pachinko game. Which would be just the ultimate, like, the ultimate tease for a, uh, like, E3 press conference or something, right? Yeah. Like, what if it's like, oh, my God, it's going to be on PS4. Uh, oh. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> bells. <laughs> uh, Joe, I want to know your take on Survive because you are a huge, huge Metal Gear player. Yeah. This is obviously a little weird because it's the creator's gone. Yeah, Hanson was asking me about this on the on the podcast this week too. He wanted he oh. wanted me to go out there on a well, limb. Give me the real answer. <laughs> he wanted me to go out there on a limb and just say like I would kill Metal Gear Sol- Metal Gear Survive if I could. And it's like I don't know. It's a, it's like Star Wars not having George Lucas anymore. Yeah. Like, it's fine. There's a chance this could be really good. You got to give it a shot, right? That's that's all I'm saying is like, yeah. I think I think that's ultimately where where I'm at with it. And like, I understand people were kind of upset around E3 that I even like w- would give this game a, a second thought and not just say like, hey, it's Metal Gear without Kojima and Konami was real you know, was real bad to him in that whole process. Yeah, so that like, whole thing sucks giant snake eggs, right? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's. I was going to say something else, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it is <laughs> seriously, like, that is terrible, all that stuff. It's very public. You know, people have picked sides. But at the same time, Konami's a smart business still. Uh, what they did there was not good, but <laughs> they know they have money in Metal Gear. Not everybody left the team, right? There's still well, people. No, I, th- I, I think I have the- not seen. Hey, Leo, can you look it up again? <laughs> hey, I, I don't Just know Google who sure. left the team. And who we'll left just- the team? <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not that intimately familiar in terms of like who, like exactly, like which, who is part of the studio developing Survive and all that stuff. I think ultimately, just to me, it boils down like when they announced Survive. My take was like I have no idea why this exists. Like. I don't know a Metal Gear fan who like wants this for the series, and I don't know a fan of like shooters who really wants this sort of like weird version of it that's centered in me- in Metal Gear. Right? That's fair. I think that's fair. Um, the the one thing I'll say is, what if they came out with six, like an announcement for six? What is your what does your immediate gut say? Mm. Uh, and that's all it is. There's there's no footage, yeah, nothing. I mean, it's just we're making Metal Gear Solid Six. Good luck. Yeah. I don't know, like I, if they at that point it Baker's it would just be skepticism. Yes. I mean, like it, like if they don't announce a studio, if they don't announce a creative director, if they don't you know sort of like try to sell people on why this is a good idea, like continuing a series when like you know the the mastermind behind it is gone, seems like a bad idea to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll use Star Wars as an analogy again. Like when Disney got the rights from George Lucas, mm-hmm. I was like, oh no. You know, that was my first reaction was like, oh man, he's not going to be there. This isn't going to be the same thing. But then at the same time, I was like, yes, we're getting more Star Wars, right? Like there was a lot of excitement because it was like, it's, like, it's, it's going to continue finally. Like the it's no longer just going to be this thing that's just going to die eventually. The difference there though is I think I think fans' confidence in George Lucas had eroded over time. So there was actually sort of sure. excitement about where that could go. And Star Wars was such an expansive universe that they had any number of sort of creative minds at the helm of, any, of various projects. So there's reason to be optimistic about where various projects could go, the kind of tone they could strike or whatever. I mean, I think when you're dealing with a series that has just been so inextricably tied to one person's creative vision that fans, by and large, are satisfied with and like want more of and have like faith in, I think when you take that away, it gets complicated. So if Phantom Pain was a complete and utter disaster from a directorial gameplay standpoint, different conversation yeah, altogether. I, yeah, I think so. I think so. And I think it, I think it's also gotten to the point where people like for and I'm not saying Phantom Pain's perfect, but I think for the shortcomings in that game, I think Konami's bearing a lot of the blame for that in like not letting Kojima Productions finish the game that they wanted to make and just sort of saying, "Hey, we have to get this done." And of course, blames on the studio too for not getting, you know, not finishing the game in 5 years or however long it took, but automatically um, you know, it's, it's a different situation, but bottom line to the original question, I want to play some Metal Gear Survive, but I'm not, my expectations are not super high that it's going to deliver the sort of metal, any sort of experience that I have previously associated with Metal Gear. 
that is fair. I mean, they have the tech and all that stuff, obviously. So it might feel like Metal Gear, but is it Metal Gear? Yeah, that's the big question that remains. Hey, Leo, how much time do we got left? We're at 35 minutes right now. All right. Got about 10 minutes of this left. You know, if they if Konami did, though, announce like Metal Gear Solid 6, I would be eager to play that. Even if it's just like, where are you guys going to take this thing? What are you doing with it? Like, oh, yeah, I would be I excited mean, for that announcement. Just from you know? the controversy standpoint, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, you're going to have people super divided. I've talked be like the Dems and GOP. Like, <laughs> no bipartisan there. I've talked about this before, but the announcement that I really want from Konami related to Metal Gear is like a Metal Gear Solid 5 complete. Or mm. I guess you couldn't do director's cut because he's not there anymore. Oh, that'd like, be hilarious. Like, the idea that... like uh, Assistant director's cut. This is getting a little weird, guys. There, there were a handful of things in Metal Gear Solid 5 <laughs> that, like, were clearly unfinished, whether it's, like, the way... Like the way one of the storylines wraps up or the fact that there's this tank that's being built that was clearly supposed to be playable and p- like part of the game, but then it's just not. Um, things like that. I just like to see those implemented to really round out that game and make it. Yeah, I agree. Just a final It'll never version. happen. Oh, yeah, it absolutely won't. But that's the announcement that I want. Unless they that. come together. Put their differences <laughs> aside. gives them in a good year. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dead. So, Joe, Dead. get us up to speed. What? Where are we at here in the story? Uh, we basically just listened to Snake and this guy having a super long conversation about ties, about (laughs) Metal Gear and what the terrorists want and how to activate it and all that kind of stuff. Incidentally, this is the guy, that voice actor is the one who voiced, uh, Cyborg Ninja in the, in the first game. I don't know. Uh, it looked like a heart attack. So he got killed by Fox Die. Which, I mean, I'm spoiling the story later. Yeah, no, we don't know that that's what it is right now. But, but Snake, Snake, Snake is currently the vector for a for a uh, virus that is engineered to kill specific people. And turns out that guy wasn't the guy we thought he was, but was in fact Decoy Octopus. This mm, sounds like a Dan Brown book. He's one of the members of uh, the, one of the current members of Foxhound, which is Solid Snake's old unit. Now currently being led by Liquid Snake. Get out of there. It's always funny with Find Decoy President Octopus. Baker. Like I feel like he shows up on the list of like, yeah, all those, all those, you know, bad guys. Metal Gear Solid One. You had Sniper Wolf, and you know the, the other guys, and then Decoy Octopus. I was like, you never really got to see what he oh, was or what he was show. of what he was capable. You know, just kind of died when you met him, pretending yeah. to be somebody else. <laughs> Working those quads. <laughs> Look at Joko. Oh, I think you're about to get into a, a mm, gunfight. Look at that. Yummy. Let's, let's sip that toilet water. This is disgusting. I don't stand for this. I can't this. believe Snake canonically did that. <laughs> <laughs> believe that it, was all, That was it's all just true. a cutscene, right? That wasn't your plan. <laughs> <laughs> this game still looks good. It had yeah. progressive scan on GameCube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Leo and I went through did a lot of trouble. Did I just see a naked man? Screw yeah, so that's, that's Johnny Sasaki, who is a recurring character in the series. And what is his defining characteristic? Well, he's got two. <laughs> <laughs> a penis. Uh, it's called layers. <laughs> his character. It's like no, an onion. His, I'd say his second most well-known feature is, the, is the fact that he frequently gets knocked out and left left naked and unconscious. Uh, his, I think, the biggest defining feature of the, of the Suzaki family is chronic diarrhea. Yeah, he's got an, an IBS situation. Yeah, of kind, no joke. But Meryl's into that kind of thing, so Careful. apparently, <laughs> yeah, they Liar. they get married. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence. This is a strange, it's a nice series. Their story. You never shot a person. Yeah, he, he was late to you the uh, ceremony, though. You haven't even taken <clears throat> safety off, rookie. Because he was. I told you I, I wish rookie. that there were a a better like collection of all the Metal Gear. Games. I think, or I, like yeah. a PS4 oh, collection. Of okay. Like I wish this would show up. That's what I want. Like I want this, and then like. So we can you know, two and three, and because they released it on PS3. Like yeah. on PS3, you can get a collection that is basically like MGS. Is it? Yeah. Is it the it's PlayStation? Two, it's two, three, and Peace Walker, and then three subsistence oh. subsistence has <laughs> Metal Gear. Wrong person. Two on it for NES, which is nice. But All I right. think first it's, person their asses. I don't know if that's going to be the right move here. Yeah, Joe, I hear you. That's where video games are definitely. Uh, they struggle compared to like motion pictures where you can do collections of anything anywhere. You yeah. You know, go back, do the Criterion edition, clean up the film. 
for games to be able to be moved over <laughs> to, to different systems. That's a nightmare. Oh, nice. Ooh, I have a ration. All right. That was planned, right? Eat sure. it up. Well I, think we, I think you hold down L and then A, right? I can't. I mean, oh, no. Oh, no. If, if I just keep it equipped, it'll look uh, at this epic fight. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, I forgot how that works. Yeah, yeah, I'm really doing it here, guys. Is this, this scene is... going to be in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, I mean, maybe Meryl would do the work for me if I... Do you have... A, you have... Oh. Nice move! <laughs> yeah, get behind her. Ration! I don't use guns. Well, that's Joe's leaving. When he when his life goes down, the ration is automatically used as long as you have it. I know, but he's bleeding yeah. out. That's oh, fine. I'll be all right. No, he's dead. There, see? See, he got used. Ta-da! Yeah! You, oh, right on his butt. Look I that. have my... Meryl's improved AI is I, really I sharp. Can you kill Johnny Suzaki by shooting him on the ground? Uh, no. Well... Can you please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's try it. Uh, uh, well, no. that's also the, the... He's just putting him to sleep longer, Whoa. so... Right. You get that so calm. I always out. loved... Was it Metal Gear Solid 3? It was It was actually referred to as... Joe! A, it was actually an achievement. Joe! As, what? That's part... It's canon. That's right. <laughs> part of the... <laughs> <laughs> but I think, what was it called? I, Joe, you told me about it, which was nice. I, I think it's actually an achievement in the Metal Gear Solid 3 HD version. Okay. Is that if you kill Ocelot, you get an achievement for creating a time paradox. Oh, yeah, yeah, which yeah. Which is cool. In, in, yeah, in MGS3, there's a part where like Ocelot's unconscious on the ground. And if you, like, I think I grabbed my hunting More. knife or something and stabbed him. And then, the, who's this? And then you clown get car game moment. over, yeah. Not only does he, um, are they just going to keep coming? Uh, no, you usually have a better gun here. Until you kill Johnny yeah. Suzaki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, shoot that guy. Oh, so yeah, the cool thing about that moment, though, is if you kill Ocelot, you finally not shot only, one. Not only does it say Time Paradox, but it's the colonel's voice who says it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember that. And he's not, he's not in that game otherwise. Hmm. Oh, Sorry, that's a good buddy. one. That's always, I think that's the best death animation. It is a clown car. What? Yeah, there's a lot of it. It's a military base. Go get that ammo. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> This is a good situation. Just stay here till everybody in the base comes. <laughs> and clear them all out. That's Dude, a big pile lobby. of bodies. Yeah. Get <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of murder. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I'm so, I was supposed to have a machine gun there, but because yeah. I didn't get the SOCOM, they gave me that instead. Looks like House in the Woods. Uh, oh, well. For the yeah, so I'm trying to think. So the PS3 collection what? of these, I think, had a P a voucher for the PS1, ver like for the PlayStation Classic version of the game that you could download. Who really? are you? I think I think oh. that's what it had. There he is. Oh, Psychomantis! He find his sleeves finally fit. That's a Metal Gear Solid Five joke. <laughs> Thank and you, Leo. Thank you. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> we're gonna move on to something else, gentlemen. Something equally good. We usually don't do this. We don't take a look on replay at new games that often. Mm -hmm. But this one needs to be localized. We need this game here. If it doesn't come out in the US, we need to import it and play it on replay because it looks like the best thing. I'm going to play the trailer for you, gentlemen. So we need to get like an Operation Rainfall thing going on? Yes, okay. exactly. This looks like the best game ever made. Okay, so what's it called? Well, you just saw the City. title. I don't know why oh, you're okay. asking okay. questions. Of Shadows and Shrouds. City of Shadows and Shrouds. Okay. These guys are making a new disaster report, by the way. Uh, is that what this is? Disaster report? This is better than that. Okay. okay. It's, it's the Twitter game? Is it? Look at the detail in this. It's like real life. All right. Look, he needs a haircut. <laughs> oh. Now that looks like an earthquake, like disaster report. Yeah, seems, seems pretty normal. It's the greatest hits. What? <laughs> what? It is a oh, monster game about kaiju and stuff seen from the perspective of humans <laughs> on the ground. Oh, my gosh. This Wait, is pretty so great. Is it just Ultraman? Or no. It, oh, okay. It's okay. all of them. Every single one? Everyone. So, okay. <laughs> so you have to. All right. Yeah. This looks great. Look at him. So you're just a human being trying to. So it's like Shadow of the Colossus, except without. Yeah, it's you like you don't take out the Colossus. Yeah, it's, it's like the Japanese version of Cloverfield, but a game about survival. Oh, his shirt is ripped. Huh. People, we need this to come here. You need to band together and figure out how to get this localized. Oh, it looks like you got some narrative choice. choice. All right, all right. 
Look at this. <laughs> See ya. Cars. <laughs> You'll I be like, fine. I like the idea that the tiny choices you're making on the ground have some sort of impact on the giant monsters destroying Look. Tokyo. Whoa. Wait a minute. That's Evangelion. Exactly. Gamera? What? Those things? That oh. building crab? A Gundam, probably? Yep. That guy? There he is! Godzilla? The OG! The man himself. What? Oh. This is insane. <laughs> Sprite? This is pretty cool. It's the best game ever. City of Shrouded Shadows and stuff. <laughs> it's, is that the after the subtitles? It's like the colon now. And okay. stuff. And I'm guessing that is a victory state. The bridge okay. falling apart, because that means okay. Godzilla is gone. That's how they celebrate? And it's got J-pop. And it's got people to care know, about. Families. That guy who will probably die. Have you guys seen Colossal? Yeah, look at the throbbing what? tentacle in the background. Yeah, it's just taking selfies with throbbing tentacles. Does that make sense? Have you guys seen the movie Colossal? No, no. not yet. With Anne Hathaway? Uh-uh. It's mm -hmm. about kaiju. Is it really? Are you making a big joke? No. You guys should go watch Colossal. It is a very good film that has to do with kaiju. Hmm. Okay. I bet that's a QTE. <laughs> I think we should also point out if you like kaiju that friend of Game Informer Xander Cannon yeah, just started up the third season of uh, Kaiju Max. He, write, he uh, does the illustrations for our Game Enforcer cover every year. An Eisner nominated series. Mm -hmm. It is very good. <laughs> this is crazy. This like mashup of like monsters right? and stuff it's like, like that. It's like end of days because all the monsters come at once. And I guess the Gundam are trying to take them down. I thought Ultraman was like a good guy. Oh. Is, is he not a good but guy? But there were two Ultramans, so... Ultraman? Maybe one of them's evil? Okay. I don't know. Gosh, I want Shadows of the Shrouded City. The, this you know, is... Reiner, that really seems like not something that's ever going to come here. <laughs> it is coming out October 19th, PlayStation 4. We need it. Oh, here's a moment. Uh-oh, that dude's getting crushed. Was that a tease oh. for some monster that we don't know? Well, to be continued, it. hopefully, here in America. Come on. Is it coming to Europe? Oh, look at all those. Oh, look at that DLC. DLC. Yes. Oh, man. Pre-order oh, bonus. You can get an apron. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. But anyway, that let's Sony look mascot. at one more game, and uh, we'll call it a day. This... Is a PlayStation game based on a comic series. What are those hair physics? What? Called Danger Girl. All right. Remember when things like this were only in cutscenes and we thought they looked amazing? And now if a real game looked like this today, <laughs> we, it would just get laughed out of town? Look, that shark looked ridiculous. Oh, wow. They're really paying attention to the to the boob physics. Yeah, that's this. important. Uh, this was made by... Uh, the comic was J. Scott Campbell and Andy Hartnell. This is made by N Space and THQ. Guy's got a cool ponytail. That looks like the bad guy from uh, Abe's Odyssey. It also looks like the bad guy from Hellboy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That. So the back Walk of the box guy. says, Danger never looks so good. Oh. Third person action adventure has never been sexier with Danger Girl. Oh, that's its thing. It's the sexy action. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you couldn't tell that was the angle they were going for? Uh, Are you uh -oh. not turned on right now? <laughs> Were you familiar with this comic, Reiner? Yes. Did you like J. Scott, it? No, I never read it, but J. Scott Campbell was a big deal. Hmm. All okay. right. Here we go. I oh, like those, the music. They actually look kind of familiar. How does it rank in terms of sexiness of comics? Mm, good question. Good question. Uh, it's it's up there, I, I guess. <laughs> Above Garfield. <laughs> I don't know. Nermal. Below really. Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, lore. We're getting lore. All right. We didn't pay attention to a lick of it in in Metal Gear, but we're going to be like observant. In here. this game, yeah. the story is actually pretty important. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's basically Got like it. a precursor to Assassin's Creed, where like whatever <laughs> is going on in ancient technology is impacting the modern day storyline. There you right. go. Um, yeah. Wait, are they supposed? Are they? Oh, it's how the Power Rangers are made. Oh, not the face. Oh, that's like the most important part. I was kind of interested in that guy. There's a skeleton. 
Okay. That's why it's not danger guys. They're all dead already. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess that, I guess that makes sense. The danger is past for them. Today. Oh. That skeleton lasted for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm is that the danger girl? No, you're right, Kyle. That does look more like the odd world guy. Oh. I win. Yeah. What are we going to find out here? This is I like how they prioritize putting up banners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is our turf. They've probably got a competing evil expedition that's going like trying to unearth ancient stuff too. Uh, they have to say like we were here first. Yeah, get out of here. Oh no. Wait, oh. no. Is she dressed? I can't Are she getting aye, dressed? Aye, aye. <laughs> 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 well, she's gonna Skype. She's got Robin gloves. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Ponytail. I'm in. Deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this game definitely has a high deuce factor. <laughs> I like that. Oper- <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, uh, I like the operating sister. The operating system there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's just totally like original <gasps> Windows. Calm uh, down. Uh, can we show this on replay? How is that? Like, yeah. Is that guy just not. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, cut right at the right moment. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. Okay. Classy. She'll wear a gun. Don't worry, Deuce. You I'll guys. Be <laughs> out. All right. I, I don't think my parents would have let me take this job if they knew this was what <laughs> happened. <laughs> there was no. Uh, she didn't put on pants. No, nope, we're just that, going so. out, going out <laughs> bottomless. That's how you do it. This secret agent world. Oh, not her backpack. Uh, she needs that. Boy, they're what? really doing. They're it. really putting <laughs> the really nipples on for. there. Wow. That's the one number one danger from alligators is they steal your backpacks. Whoa. What? <laughs> she nuked an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Joke's on him. That's my alligator that explosion. unnecessary. Uh, wow. Abby Chase. Okay. Off to a great start. <laughs> I could... Rumble in the jungle. <laughs> okay. This is just, like, okay. now this game is just in a tier. Oh, God. Look at the graphics. It's like that... Uh, Leisure Suit Larry game now. It's like, oh, this oh, is yeah. just a this is just a game that's like is that a, a shirt video texture? game version of kind of porn. <laughs> uh, my favorite arms. genre. I almost did I I think I beat that original Leisure Suit Larry reboot, the one on Xbox. Oh, the one that was Ooh. kickstarted or whatever? No, 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 no. The, the Oh, the one that was kind of a platformer? No, this the one that was just like a bunch of dumb mini games. Oh, Magna Come Loud. No, I think that was the sequel. Oh, I don't know. I'm out. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've listed every Leisure Suit Larry game I know. Uh, oh, there's the crouch walk that we were missing in the last game we were playing. Finally, yeah. This is the real <laughs> stealth that? action. Okay, hold the jump button to change speed and look. Oh, my God. <laughs> I oh get my God. I get motion sick in games, and this is already doing. Oh, that. if you I barf was, on replay, I'm going to be so happy. Oh man, <laughs> I was just laughing at the very first tutorial direction it gives you. Is like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like hold That's down fine. five uh, buttons to change an option that you're not aware of what it does uh, yet. Hey, Ryan, that could actually be a like a a replay. Okay, like endurance challenge at some point is just like sit me down with some real. Oh, it's some nauseating. Herky, herky jerky first person game. Yeah. See how long it takes for me to throw up. That'd be fun for us. Yeah. <laughs> so you can either shoot with X button or R3. <laughs> which oh, makes yeah, no, no that's sense. Good. That's, that's good. Nice. I do not know how to make her run. I was going to say, there has to be some other way to move. <laughs> There's no uh -oh. way. He's in cover. I mean, just judging by the way she walks normally, I'd say she's not well versed in locomotion. I guess. Who walks like that? <laughs> 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 She's walking like it's a stealth game, but I really don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you're almost dead. I was raised by National Geographic praying mantis <laughs> show. <laughs> National Geographic <laughs> praying mantis shows? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, like like one it. special about a praying mantis just aired over and over again while mom was at work or something. I How know. do I stop doing this walk? It's <laughs> creepy as f She's like uh, her inner thighs are really sore. Or one something. way would be to turn off the system. Oh, oh and you would yeah. stop walking like that. That's true. I'm gonna walk like this. For the I rest think of the we're day. all so really that's plan into this. A. I think. <laughs> rotate. Can you rotate the camera? Can you like see what see what she looks like? 
Oh, R3. Oh. Does Joe have a crush? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see more boobs, guys. Which really have not gotten enough at this point. <laughs> okay, I got him. I gotta, oh no. I gotta admit, I'm into this uh, music. Oh, there is music. I'm I'm so, I got. I have to admit that I am still continually fascinated by how oh, a human no. being can walk. That the guy's way just hanging walking. out on the roof. <laughs> 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 guys, hey, guys! I got stuck up here. That's not funny. I'm gonna bring the ladder back, James. <laughs> J James, you said there was something cool up here. <laughs> You're full of crap. What the hell am I doing? Oh, oh cool. Ooh, oh, yeah. there we go. Okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> the phone does nothing except just. Makes everything green. Makes everything greener. Nothing's easier to see. <laughs> no. How do I turn it off? It's like it's still dark as night out in front of you. <laughs> there you go. I was about to say, this saves your life now, Reiner. You should probably get roof, man. I need ammo. <laughs> this is the safest way to get there. Eagle ammo. Eagle ammo. You can yeah. shoot eagles? I'm out of here. That's pretty Impossible cool. to hit. Guys, look out. <laughs> oh, no, it's Danger Girl. No one's been able to... <laughs> Killed Danger Girl yet. Danger Girl, get around the corner. John Wick. Abby Chase. <laughs> Real John Wick. Oh, come on, Abby. <laughs> oh, didn't even get to see the full death animation. Okay. Uh, now I got my oh, bear. way back here. Okay. Hey, don't worry. Well, at least we didn't have to watch an alligator steal her backpack again. I think we need to see more of this game. I think we need to revisit it on an episode. Mm, it in. deserves the title treatment. I think I've seen enough. What? what? All right, east, northeast. Gotcha. I want to gotcha. see if I can stealth kill him. Is this a stealth game? Like, is that a thing? See, now I'm running. Oh, look at that. What'd you do? How'd you change that? <laughs> oh, Abby. <laughs> how did you run? What did you... She's just running. I don't know how. Did you... I really? got in that crouch mode. Oh, so you must have hit a button at some point to go into but awkward. But I seriously tried to get awkward. out of it like you would not believe. Did you press the awkward walk button? Is that what it was? I think that's what it was. Yeah. It's weird that they made that a standard button on every controller. Yeah, yeah. just like, do not press this. <laughs> All right. We, we need start. We need select. We need awkward walk. It's the trap button. We're Ooh. already back where you were. Well, we figured out how to gonna... walk properly, so. I'm gonna try to blaze these guys. Blaze them. Look at this. You got it now. You might be the best at this game ever, period. I mean, you might be the best person who's ever played this. And the only person. That's a joke. Come on up. Bud Light. How do I open Get that? in there. How do you oh. open that? Can you throw a grenade? <laughs> oh, that's good. I bet shooting it might open it. Well, there's a button you could press, right? <laughs> oh. Oh. Debates the fridge door. <laughs> Secret fridge. Look, there's a button right there, though, right? On the pillar. Oh, no, that was about? a lie that I told to try to impress you guys. <laughs> it didn't work. You, it impressed me, guys. guys. Oh, oh, great. That was a good lie. <laughs> Here's a gem. Oh, wow, great lie. That looks like something <laughs> I can shoot. <laughs> I really respect people who are good liars. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got to be able to shoot that. Well, you Just can. Just wasting the ammo. Oh, I think maybe it takes 75 bullets. Did you try shooting some eagles at it? I'm just going to go up this hill here. Is, Although the objective yeah, is, is that, clearly that way. Yeah, that's your objective? But I'm guessing... No, yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing it's up and around here. This music is really catchy. Is this where you came from? Nope. Yeah, I don't think so. I just hooked around. All right, try and <laughs> tr rotate the camera. Can you Can you, like, get a look? Okay. This is a PlayStation One game, man. I don't, I don't know. know I wanted expecting. to. See, I wanted to see if you can like see what her uh, what her face looks like. Yeah, it's not briefly, and then opening cutscene. It was beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. It seems like they spent a lot of time making sure her butt moves. Oh man, the butt muscles are moving like you wouldn't believe, hypnotically. Yeah. It's funny that that has been a, a factor in the two games that we've played. Because yeah. even Metal Gear Solid had the shot of that's how he knows Meryl is not a, a, a male soldier. Oh, that's right. She's got the, the swishy butt walk. Yeah. Left, 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 left. It's a theme. Up that way? Ah, that way. Gonna go right. Yes, there you There's go. There's a man. There's a dead man. You should try and talk it through with him. They never trained to have someone running straight at them. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> firing their gun. We always assumed our opponents would value their own lives. <laughs> hmm. Huh. So that's the governor's compound. I don't really know what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> Oh, that was great! Oh, you know Joe. what it is? We didn't we didn't watch the like hours worth of you know uh, prologue footage. Oh and yeah, the briefings. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, that's our that's our problem. Well, I wonder how push I squeeze through here. You could just Seems turn like sideways you and you're in. There. Uh, you clearly could not fit. <laughs> Abby, hey guys, go come open this for me. Hello, <laughs> that's Abby's voice. Hello, Hello. <laughs> I'm Danger Girl. <laughs> Get ready to get be shot. Okay, that looks like something maybe get I could shoot. Ready to be shot. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that from the comic book. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, there you go. Wow. Okay. Well, good that luck. Worked. Just go into the abyss. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's uh, fine. You should have smoked fine. a cigar. It's Abby's fine. <laughs> Leo says it's fine. So. Oh rations? no, she. What? Why would she just start walking like that? Oh, this must be the mansion, the north northeast mansion. Do doors open in this game? You can shoot them. There's a big green arrow. The green giant we're going to meet. This is where you met the guy. Go that way. The guy who knew about the words in Melgar Solid Five. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, yeah that's Word Man. Can't go that way. <laughs> yeah, the famous word boss from Melgar Solid Five, Word Man. <laughs> I thought that was a Mega Man boss. I wonder. <laughs> oh. I wonder. Hmm. There's got to be a switch you can shoot. Was I? I Which that's the cave I was in. Yeah. We all know is the most effective way to press buttons. Mm -hmm. Where now? Uh, this is a new area over here. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, to the right. This music is to really the right. good. There, there you <laughs> go. You're getting low yeah. on health. Yeah, this is it for Abby. Do you have an AK-47? You keep that ammo for it. Yeah, Looks like an explosive. Guns? Or maybe it's a secret item that you need to pick up. Oh, wait. Can you not select it? No, it's not really there. Weird. It's lame. It's you can probably shoot that explosive from a safe distance. The games have taught me anything. <laughs> no, I think you should just go pick it up. They have not taught me anything. <laughs> Clearly, just go in there? Or does that, I think that disabled it, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, just walk through there now. It's not flashing anymore. It's not flashing. But the other one is. Yeah, shoot them down. all. I think you'll be fine if you just go right in. Shoot them up. There you go. Look at that. Done. Lights off. There Good. is a toxic Radio. chemical there, Joe. Look, I think they wouldn't call her Danger Girl if she weren't well equipped to handle oh. various blinking lights. I gotta shoot <laughs> every one of them. I mean, her bag was eaten by an alligator. You know, that kind of slows her down. Oh, it looks like you can't do anything here. Cool. Well, just shoot everything, right? That's your only tool is your gun. Well, what was the purpose of this little area? Such a good question. Hmm. Maybe you have to shoot all the buttons. Because <laughs> there's another button that hasn't been shot. There is? Look at how this box yeah. moves. Leo says there's another button, and I don't know if I trust Leo. It's right here. Look at that. I did it, Leo. There might be another button still. This is a fun puzzle. Yeah, see? It's a little brain tickler for you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Leo's right. Leo's always right. My brain is so tickled. I trust right now. him with everything. Cool, look what happened. I God. played Danger Girl for the puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Leo, you're really shoving us into a corner here. Oh! Oh, there's a Laura Croft jump button. Nice. <laughs> All right, I got one more thing to She's try, and we're going to call it day. So, this Danger Girl is a hunk of lovin on PlayStation 1. <laughs> it's a hunk of lovin. <laughs> it is, uh, it holds up really well. I think it controls admirably, maybe? Okay. Admirably, maybe? Admirably. And, uh, was that, was I think that? it just kind of locked up on me. Oh, there we go. Is that the thing you wanted to try? Or shoot the door? <laughs> I was going to try to do a vertical over here, but, oh! Oh, you just clip your way through. That's yeah. how I do it. Okay. Ah, there oh, we go. He's blinking. Whoa. There's the guy. Oh. It's the guy from earlier. <laughs> Conrad. Uh, I don't know how to get in here, and I don't care. Yeah, me neither. Uh, <laughs> no, we're good. That's uh, another episode of Replay. Thank you so much, Leo, for putting this together, and Joe and Kyle for your expert commentary, as yeah. always. Thank it's always you. fun. And you out there, out there on the internet, thanks for watching these dumb little shows. We'll see you again in seven days. <laughs>